Hey guys, welcome to my review and unboxing of the Canon BG-E9 battery grip. I just got this in the mail from Amazon today for my Canon EOS 60D. I got it off there for about $140, which is uh, considerably cheaper than if you were to buy this directly through Canon. Okay, let's see what we got in here now that we're past the shipping packaging. Um, here is the box for the Canon BG-E9 battery grip. Okay, now let's take a look around the box. On the front is basically just the picture. Uh, on the side, battery grip BGE9 Canon. Uh, just some more information around the back. Same thing on the other side. Looks like same thing on the top. And basically the same thing on the bottom. For those curious, this box is 6 inches long by 3.5 inches wide and 5 inches tall. Okay, enough of that. Now let's get started on the actual unboxing. Um, here we have it from the top. Um, First off, we have a, looks like a Canon, uh, a bag for the uh, tray that is not currently in the battery grip. Um, so I'll be keeping the uh, AA battery tray in there. Next we have, uh, looks like, oh this is the, this is the tray for the two LPE6 batteries. Um, this is the one that I will be primarily using in my <clears throat> in my 60D. And here we have some literature. It looks like we got a warranty card and uh, manual. And finally, it looks like we have the BGE9 battery grip itself. I'll tell you guys, this does feel rather heavy. I expect this will add uh, a significant proportion of weight to my 60D compared to what it currently is. Um, I can tell you right now, guys, it does feel great. The weight definitely contributes to it feeling like a solid uh, piece of machinery. Um, the buttons feel great. Um, I'm loving the extra uh, shutter button. You have your uh, tripod mount on the bottom and strap mount. Um, okay guys, now I'm filming this on my iPhone. Uh, now that the 60D is in the frame, um, now we're going to actually put the battery grip in to the 60D. Um, first off, you open the door hinge here. Okay, I finally got that open. It helps to have a little bit of nails. There's my installed OP6. This door hinge just comes off. I think you just, uh, I think Canon says pull it at a 35 degree angle from the uh, bottom of the 60D and it'll just come right out. Now I'm going to install the uh, LPE6 batteries of mine into the battery grip. Uh, here we're taking out the 6 AA battery tray. Uh, this will be really handy if I am out away from uh, charging stations and I'm unable to uh, power and I run out of power with my LPE6 batteries. Those AA batteries will be very handy. Alright, so here I'm putting in my LPE6 batteries, installing them onto the tray, um, and then <clears throat> installing them into the 60D battery grip. Uh, nice and smooth, pretty smooth at least. Um, twist it at the bottom and flip it up to secure the latch. And then the battery, or the battery door, the door to the battery or whatever, um, actually there's a nice little spot on the grip itself to store that door so you do not lose it and it's pretty secure in there. Okay, now let's try installing the battery grip onto the 60D. Uh, it should just slide right down like this and then you twist this screw uh, counterclockwise uh, and then it actually just screws into the tripod ring mount. Uh, right like that and it'll feel pretty tight but the the gear here will s remain a little wobbly back and forth as you can see but uh, that's not really a big deal not a concern of mine okay we're gonna get a good look at it here and now um, uh, it definitely is a lot taller now with that battery rip on it uh, 
it looks very nice. Um, we'll spin around here for you guys for a frontal look. It almost looks like just a uh, miniature 1DX, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, now, I can tell you, uh, it definitely adds some weight to it, especially with the two LP6 batteries in there also. And when you hold it vertically, the grip is actually thicker than when you hold it horizontally. It's almost like a 70 grip, I would guess, rather than a 60. Okay, now that I've put this lens on, I've discovered one slight problem with this, is that it actually is too front heavy, and this lens isn't even that heavy, uh, and I can imagine that this would be even worse with a heavier L lens. Okay, now to talk about the whole reason for getting a battery grip is uh, for extra battery power. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and give you a specific number on the additional number of shots you'll be able to get with this battery grip because it really is going to vary on your conditions. If you're using live view a lot, um, then that autofocus, you know, it's really going to depend on the type of shooting you're doing. I mean, certain functions on your camera are going to drain battery quicker than others. Now, the other big advantage to the battery grip is improved vertical shooting, which is great for wedding photography and uh, portrait photography. At the end of this video, I've added some still images. Thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy.